In this video, I'm going to show you my new favorite passing concept in Trips Tight End. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I just want to welcome you to the video. Honestly, I just want to jump right into the video. If you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. I upload tips every single day. Also, if you want to get all my ebooks, there's a link in the description. You can get all of the ebooks for just one price of 10 bucks a month. So join the Patreon. There's a link in the description if you want to do that. This concept, I have to tell you, is it will frustrate everybody that you play. You can do this out of any play in the formation. If you do not have Hot Route Master or Backfield Master, go ahead and use the play Drive Post. But again, you could do this out of any other play if you have um, the, the ability. Okay, so Drive Post from Trips. You, I do it out of PA Counter Go because I have Hot Route Master, but Drive Post will be fine. All right, so real simple, real, real, real simple, and that's why I like this play. All we're going to do is block the tight end we're going to flat the outside slot. Now, honestly, at this point, if you want to, just snap the ball. But what I like to do is I love to slant the inside slot. So you see this is what it looks like right here. And then I put the outside receiver on a five-yard in cut. You can leave the, the other route that was on the play. And then what if you don't have – if you have Hot Route Master, put the running back on a ghost. This ghost route is so, or this ghost uh, route is so much more versatile than I think we originally thought this year. It's not just good for short passing. I'm gonna just do another video first thing in the morning that's gonna teach you a bomb by utilizing this concept. So what you're gonna see here is this ghost route is gonna basically hold all the zones, and you're gonna hit that route to Godwin. Now what this is going to force your opponent to do is they're definitely going to get out of cover four and they're going to go ahead and go down to Mike Blitz three and they're going to go hard flats. Now what you might experience is you might experience kind of a double Mabel setup just like this with their user being in the middle of the field. And what their user, we're going to make their user make a decision. Their user has to decide are they going to cover the slant route or are they going to cover the in route. And what you'll see here is this slant will do a really good job. See how the ghost route just holds the zones? And you can easily throw the slant against a coverage that would typically, and let me just show and illustrate. So let's say that we go to Mike Blitz 3 and we run the exact, uh, the exact same play, but the only difference is we don't use the ghost route. Okay, the only difference is I'm not using a ghost route. Watch what happens to the slant now. Now the purple's got nobody holding him, so he can kind of be in the area to play that route. This is what makes this zone or this this route so powerful. Also, what are the common zone drops that you're going to be facing online? Well, the most common are you're going to be facing 30-yard flats, 5-yard curl flats, and 5-yard hook curls. Well, let's go to cover three here and show you a curl flat. And what happens to a curl flat, we've talked about this on our channel before, but if you have a flat route and an in route, and there's a curl flat defender over there, that curl flat typically will get sucked in the inside. I can throw the flat, and as you can see, we can attriculate. We can continue to move the ball forward up the football field. So this is a phenomenal passing concept. Now, if you don't have abilities, you don't have Hot Rod Master, I just want to show you, literally all you have to do is block the tight end, put the left side receiver on a, a flat, and you can literally just snap this as is, and it will basically work exactly the same. The post route is just as good, if not better, than the slant. As you notice, it goes about 20 yards. What's really nice about these concepts that I'm sharing with you is you're going to be really manipulating people whenever they're wanting to run zone drops. Zone drops are not going to be able to defend this because you literally have to have I mean, there's just so many things that you have to do. And then if you if you are getting a lot of zone drops, then just run this post because the post will get over any zone drop that the slant can't get underneath, okay? So now you see here we can use this drive post concept and you see the cover two doesn't even get back and cover it. So they have to drop their zones now back to, to that 20 to 25 yard threshold. And then we can do the same basic concept um, out of the play PA counter go, and it would look something like this. Now, I'm not suggesting today that I want to spend a significant amount of time talking about PA counter go. I just want to simply show you that just the different uh, the different areas at which that route can hit. And the beauty is the ghost route does a really good job at making those deep blue zones kind of still be easily manipulated. The real cool part about drive post, like I said, is that you have this block and release ghost route. So if they don't blitz you, he's going to go on a ghost. And then you still have the slant. And you see how good of a concept this really is. 
Now, against man-to-man, you might be saying, well, man-to-man probably would be a pretty successful call against something like this. And you, you know, honestly, it's probably the best thing they could call, but it's really still not a complete play call. And I'm going to show you why. So when you run the in route and the slant, both of those routes will typically beat man-to-man. So that, again, the user is in that place where he has to decide which ones he's going to take, and you just take the other one. And I can't tell you how much fun I've had with this concept. You're going to basically, the other really cool part, this is why I like to block the tight end. The other really cool part about this is generally if you're going to get a five-man rush in this year's game, you're going to get something that looks kind of like this. Well, there's no five yard, no five man rush for the most part that at least that I'm aware of it right now can come in consistently against this this blo- uh, block. So you're going to be able to easily make reads, easily be able to hit the in route. Now the progression and how I like to read this, I kind of like to peek to the right side just to kind of see what's going on, kind of see how many people they're blitzing, just kind of get a feel for the coverage at first. But then my first, then the very next thing that I want to do is I want to come back to the left side and I want to read that flat and in route. So I'm going to peek here, come back over here. Oh, they're running hard flat so I can throw my in route. And as you can see, the play goes forward. Now I want to show you why I would argue to be the best underneath coverage in the game. And that is something that looks kind of like this. See how many underneath defenders we have? We have a spy, we have two hard flats, we have two vertical hooks and a three rack. What's really cool about this concept is that you're still going to have somebody open in this. Even though they have literally five to six people as underneath defenders, notice how wide open that slant route is on the sideline. If, for whatever reason, they have a purple uh, a purple zone defender, I'll show you that real quick. So we'll just put curl flat defenders, and I'll show uh, exactly what I have here so you aren't surprised. You see here, curl flats. Now, the curl flats are supposed to drop back, but... This ghost route, watch what happens. This curl flat will see how it holds him right there. He's not going to go. You're going to have just a little space. Right there, I threw it just a little bit too early. You do want to wait for him to get a little bit of separation. I'll show that one more time. So, again, we're going to go curl flats. I've got two vertical hooks. Now, I will say this is probably the best coverage that they could have. But, again, you're still going to have something. Your, Your ghost route or your flat on the left side, for example, would be something that you could potentially have open on this on this route combo. But primary read is the slant. If I wait on this, wait, 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 right there. See that? See how it gets outside that zone? So kind of lab that up. Be careful with that. But that is a concept that you have. And I'm just telling you from personal experience, if they are playing 5 or 10-yard to 15-yard curl flat zones to try to defend this concept, then what you can easily do is just drag him. Literally just put him on a drag. And now all you have to do is just get that little bit of space and you can continue with the concept. I love this concept. It's probably my favorite new passing play in the game. If you want to learn all of my trips tight end route combos, I've got 14 offensive and defensive ebooks available over at the Patreon. By joining today, you get all of those ebooks. And I just have to tell you, this concept is absolutely insane. Um, I've known about the concept for a little while, but I haven't really realized how powerful the ghost route is specifically when it comes to holding zones it's not as powerful as it was last year but it's pretty close so we're gonna be doing some more videos on that thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and again if you want to get all of my ebooks head on down to the description of this video click the link to join the patreon and you can sign up today for just 10 bucks and get you access to everything